do you think about visual art journals, paintings, assemblages and more? If you like it like I do, then you are right here. Hi, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you joined me today again for another video collaboration. Uh, this time it is the three girls and twelve, the hashtag three girls and twelve faces. It is Eleni from Greece, Marie from Sweden and myself from Switzerland. We started this collaboration about two years ago where we once a month draw and paint on the given backgrounds. We did exchange backgrounds physically. We did send it through post mail uh, uh, the backgrounds to each other and then we work on them. This time it is, it's a background from Eleni. Now I decided this year to more or less get inspired by those old masters and one of my, my favorite um, artists, uh, older artists, I mean they're already dead to, be the, to tell the truth, so uh, is Chagall. I did grow up in Zurich where we have a church where he made those glass windows and that's probably uh, was the reason that I looked more into him as an artist. I was fascinated by those glass um, he made for a church in Zurich. Glass is anyway, if I start over again in my next life or something like that, I probably would become a glass artist. I think glass is a really fun medium also to work in, but hey, you can't have everything in your life. I started as a textile designer and uh, now I'm painting and drawing. so. That's enough of variation. <laughs> anyway, I decided to go with um, with Chagall as an inspiration. And one, one of the things that really fascinated me, he has a lot of portraits in um, where the faces are really white. If you look at like, uh, can you see it? Oh, here we are. He has a really a lot of white faces. And um, yeah, again, here we have a white face, more or less white. I mean, it's not pure white, but it's not really skin tone. That's what I wanted to say, actually. And uh, But he has also things I don't like so much, like this dark face. Just because I like an artist doesn't mean that I like every work he has done. So yeah, again, here is a very white face. And um, this one specific, let's see if I can find it. I should have marked it. I'm sorry, you have to go browse a little bit through. Here we are. It is called uh, the Acrobat. And it is uh, painted in 1930. So it is in Paris it, at the Musée National d'Art Moderne in the... Uh, George Pompidou Center. So I haven't seen it in original. We do have an art uh, museum also here in Zurich where there are some paintings from him. So I have seen some of his originals, but certainly not all of them. <laughs> so anyway, what I was intrigued for this um, lady, uh, it is um, once the white face uh, so and the white body and uh, I also, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. I'm going to see that in when I edit the video, but she has um, a necklace, which I have two here. And uh, the other thing she there is, there are some laces around the cutout of her shirt or body or whatever she is wearing. I did uh, sort of doing it also with the white postcard pen. Talking about supplies, I have used, uh, first of all, I did start with some clear gesso. Uh, I did work on Eleni's background. I wasn't sure whether she has done the clear gesso already or not. I just didn't remember right off of my head. But I also did use the clear gesso to glue on the white parts of a napkin, just to knock it a little bit down, the colorful background. And then I went over with uh, the clear gesso also, just did use it as sort of a glue also for the napkin. What else I have used? I have used some acrylic paints, like uh, I certainly have used this Carmen Red. I did use a little bit of the Titan Buff 
combined with the and now I don't remember, did I combine it with white gesso or with white paint? You're going to see it in the video. As always, it is a time lapse. And I obviously did use some burnt umber for the hairs and uh, the eyes and uh, whatnot. Now for, uh, I don't know whether you remember, she had this, this acrobat has um, a very patterned uh, dress. Where is she now again? Here. If you can see it so for those I did mimic a little bit just at the bottom of the uh, card it's, it's a postcard size I did use the postcard pens for that that worked with pretty well so yeah now don't forget go over and check Eleni's video and Marie's video you will find all the links down below in the description and um, just in case you're interested in what else I'm doing, uh, I recommend always subscribing to my newsletter so you get to know what I do in shows. I have an upcoming show. I have actually two shows upcoming. One's going to be in the gallery Favu, which um, you will find the links down below too, where I go with my assemblages. That's for two weekends. And one is uh, where I go with my paintings that's in Dübendorf. You're also going to find the link down below in the description, just in case you are in the area around uh, Zurich and St. Gall. Just check it out if you want to see some of my original paintings and my original assemblages. Now, with no further ado, let's jump into the time lapse. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Take care till next time.